Some people have seen that they're professionals that are, you know, social media managers. Do you think that that's necessary for physicians? I think it depends on what kind of commitment that they uh, want to spend on social media. And I'm not gotcha. going to lie to physicians. It does take a certain amount of time. And I think that mm -hmm. if physicians can, they should do it themselves because there is a, uh, uh, there is an authenticity that mm. physicians have whenever they do it themselves, whenever they write an article, whenever they post a video. Um, and a social media manager isn't going to have that authentic voice that a doctor has. So um, I always recommend physicians do it themselves. But if they don't have the time to do that, then yes, you could hire and outsource it to a social media manager because I think some content is better than none. So mm. um, I think it really depends on what uh, that physician wants to get out of social media. Um, as an aside to that, not all physicians are comfortable, say, writing a blog. Um, they may Got be comfortable you. doing video um, like we're doing here. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I always talk to doc tell doctors, if they aren't comfortable writing, you could um, have you know an assistant come and, and shoot some video because what videos mm. do is really capture what doctors do every day in the exam room, talking one-to-one mm -hmm. -one with patients. And I have a lot of physicians who are more comfortable on a camera than they are writing sure. words. So social media doesn't mean, doesn't have to mean written text. It could be, be different mediums. You know, it could be videos, it could be text, it could be a podcast. I think uh, whatever form that content is, it is going to be valuable to, to patients. And uh, whichever way you can reach with patients, I think physicians should just go for that way that's most uh, comfortable for them.